Hey guys, it's May May and it's time for another Scripture Art Journal Week. And this week, we're still on the topical way of doing things. I um have really enjoyed, I enjoyed last week's topic, which was God's timing. And I just feel like God is really leading us to a topical study. I don't know it'll be every week. Last night in our Bible study, I asked if, um, if people thought that we should move to topical or if we should just kind of evaluate it every week like I do with Scripture, how I listen for God to tell me. And I just feel like, He's still talking topical to me. So I'm going to roll with whatever I hear. I think that's the best way to do. Listen to God and let him lead us. So this week's topic is God's provision. And I love this because I love to look back on my life and see where God has provided for me over time. It's such a good reminder of if he's provided for me then, how much more will he provide for me in the future or how much is he planning to provide for me? And so I I want to encourage you this week to look through scriptures at God's provision. But I'm going to do it kind of twofold. And I'm going to challenge you to do the same. You don't have to. You can do this any way you want to. But here's what I'm going to challenge you to do. It's simple, but I want us to spend less time on art and more time on the scripture. So I think this is a good way to do it. So each day this week, what I want to encourage you to do is think of a time when God provided for you and pray and thank him for that every day. Think of that time, make a note of it, and have prayer time to thank him for that provision and for what he's going to do in the future. And I also want to include it in my art. I want to show you what I'm going to do. I found this piece of paper. It's from Illustrated Faith. It's a pack we used to carry, but we don't carry this anymore. But the paper says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And there's all this space. And here's what I've decided. I'm going to trim this down and put it into my journal. And then this week, as I go through the time of, you know, reflection of when God provided for me, I'm going to write on this page some of those things. Like I'm going to put it over here in my daily, but I'm also going to bring it over here and kind of fill this page with the provision that he's done for me. One of the things that we always talk about in how God provides is some of you guys know we had a house fire and we lost everything we owned in that house fire. Nothing, very little was salvaged, just a couple of little things. But God provided for us so much during that time. And so we always remind ourselves of you know, what he did during that time. And then we look back and go, but you know, that's not all he's provided for us. He provides for us every day for one thing, but he continues to provide and will always. And I think it's important for us to focus on the fact that when we don't know for sure where something's coming from or if it's going to happen or if we're going to be able to get through something, that we can look back on the times when God has brought us through or he has provided for us. This is a brand new bottle of glue. <laughs> and I did not open the thing. So. so I'm just gonna glue this into my journal, just like this. And then all week, as I work on the days, I'm gonna come over here to this side and I'm gonna write something that I am thankful for. Maybe I write, thank you for bringing us through the fire or thank you for, um, there's so many different things he's provided for me. I could go through forever. But I'm gonna use this as kind of a, um, message board to God. That's how I want to do it. Thank you, God. I'm thankful. I'm grateful and I'm blessed for these things. Um, you know, we tend to focus a lot on Thanksgiving, you know, around Thanksgiving time, but how cool to think about it now when we're talking about God's provision and look through the scriptures and see where God provided for others as they were coming through the journey, um, through scriptures and see how that can relate to you. I hope this really speaks to you. I can't wait till we do our Bible study on Thursday night to talk about God's provision. We do that on our Facebook group, which is called hide his word in my heart on Facebook. Join that group and um, get involved in our Bible study. We're really, really getting um, very close knit family there. And it's really fun to have that little hour long Bible study on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Central Time. If this is your first time joining us for Hide His Word in My Heart, head over to our Facebook group, join the group and get inspired to do art journaling your way. You certainly don't have to do what I'm doing this week, but I just think it's going to work for me with my topic to kind of use this as my message board. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you've been blessed and inspired and I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.